Hello and welcome to another video. In previous video, I showed you different types of rags such as graph rag and light rag. Also, I showed you how to develop different types of agent such as supervisor agent and react agent using LangGraph. In this video, you will learn what is MCP and how to turn react agent tools to MCP server. This will make your work super easy and increase the maintenance of the entire system design of your agents. And for those who don't know me, my name is Homoin and I opened this channel to help you to be updated with recent trend in technology and show you how to implement them efficiently. So if you're not subscribing yet, please push that subscribe button. Model Context Protocol, or MCP, was introduced by Anthropic in November 2024 as an open source standard to unify how AI models connect to tools and data. So what is that meaning? In my previous video you saw, when I was trying to call the tools to the LLM, if I wanted to build from scratch, there was a function for the OpenAI model named bind tools, and I had to pass all the functions, all the tools to that function. And in this way, I could call all the tools to the LLM. Now there's a question that comes up. What will happen to the agent if we want to change the LLM? For example, if we want to switch the family from OpenAI to Anthropic. Before MCP, you had to redo this process for your LLM. MCP is here to solve this problem. In traditional AI integration, you required custom connectors for each of your tool. And if every AI tool need a different connector, your setup become messy and hard to manage. MCP solved this by acting like a universal connector. Or if I want to explain you simpler, MCP, it's like a translator. It translate the tools to other LLMs. So any LLM that you use will understand how to use those tools that you already defined. Now you should know what are the core components of the MCP. There are three parts in MCP that really matter and you will see each of them when I'm showing you how to implement them using LangGraph. MCP host, which is the application you are building, and user directly interact with that application. It can be your website, your mobile application, everything that is connected to your agent and is using your agent to answer to the user. The second is MCP client, which is like a connector between host, which is application, and your MCP server. MCP server, well, I just call it that that's the tool. That's the place that you put all your tools or databases or APIs, anything that you want your agent, use it. So, host is the application, server is the tool, and client is a connector between the application and tools. Now that you know what is MCP, it's time to build your first React agent that use MCP server to call the tools. Just please pay attention, install all libraries exactly with the same version that I mentioned here, because if you want to change the version, there's a high chance that the conflict happens. So the first thing we need to set up is the config folder. This is the folder that we set the connection to the LLM and New4j knowledge graph. We will use New4j vector restore as a tool for our agent and connect that tool to our MCP server. So in the LLM, we define the GPT-4 Omini using the chat OpenAI function from LangChain OpenAI library. Now that we have our config, we will create two new folders, one for the graph that all the LangGraph codes going to be there. And the second one is the MCP that we define our servers here. and also the client file in this folder. And the reason that we create a separate folder for servers is because we won't have just one server. In this project, I'm just gonna create one server, which is knowledge graph server. However, 
there is a high chance that you need multiple servers so it's better to just separate them from your from your other files in order to have a better access to them let's just start with the graph our graph needs memory it needs nodes and prompt for the memory for now we just have a short-term memory which we're gonna use the session based memory to keep all the history of the agent so agent will remember everything that is happening during the conversation as long as the session is there and for the prompt we create a prompt file here and we just have one knowledge graph agent prompt which defines what is your task and what kind of tools you need to use to respond to the user and what are the restrictions before developing the agent I'm going to create the server which is the tool of the agent and then I will show you how to call it into your agent the first thing that you need to develop in your MCP is the client. Here we have the client configuration and Kaji Underland clients, which is a label for the server we are connecting to and is the knowledge graph server that we're going to create here. The first line is telling that we should run on a Python script. The second one is saying that this is the path to the server that we defined for this client and also the last one is the standard input output and is a common way to send and receive messages between the process there's just one thing that remained and that is defining the knowledge graph retriever that we already developed in our previous project using neo4j this is the vector rag which we are going to use as the core of our tool for our agent and now that we have everything we can go back to the knowledge graph server our mcp server and we can define our tool our get vector response as a server for our mcp and as a tool for our agents here first of all we have the server setup we create an mcp server named knowledge graph underlying server this server can register tools that AI models can call with the MCP protocol. Then we have the tool registration. This function is exposed to any connected AI agent as a tool. And when an AI model calls this function through the MCP, it runs everything that is inside it. And the last line will run the server. It starts the MCP server and listens with the standard input output that we define here and it's ready to accept requests from an AI client. And the last step is going to the node and create a new file named knowledge graph agent. And in this file, we're going to define our agent. Our function is defined in the async format because this is designed to work with input output like fetching the tools from the server the first thing that we do is load the tools from the mcp this part dynamically fetch all the available tools from the connected mcp server and these tools will be callable by the agent in the second part along with the mcp tools we pass the llm name for the agent the prompt that we already defined along with the short-term memory which helps agent to remember the history of the messages and the last thing that we need to do is creating a main file in order to run our agent and see how this mcp server is working and this is the main function here we define the thread id in order to keep the history for the memory using the checkpointer id and the unique thread id this async main function creates the react agent with tool access and memory and uses the mcp tools fetched dynamically 
Then in the second part, we send a user message, which in our case is who was Napoleon, because this is the data that is available in my data set. And LangGraph uses the agent, which is the agent dot a invoke to handle the reasoning plus tool usage. And finally, we print the result to the user. Now let's try this agent. And here it is. This is the response that this agent is returning using the MCP server. And that's how you can create an agent using LangGraph and connect your agent using MCP to your knowledge graph, vector store, and retrieve information. Please let me know if you have any question. You can write it in the comment for me. I will answer all the comments or you can join our Discord community and you can ask your question there. And there are a lot of people that can help you, including me. Hope this video was useful for you and see you in the next video.